Hi everyone and welcome. Uh, this is Steve from OpenBOM and in today's video we will install and create our first OpenBOM bill of material from Autodesk Inventor. So let's get started. The, uh, the process will be, well, we're going to start at the Autodesk App Store for um, OpenBOM for Autodesk Inventor page and we are going to download from the app the Inventor MSI file. Okay, so once you have that downloaded, you're going to go ahead and run that and install it. I'm going to, I'm going to let you do that. So once you install and answer the prompts, go ahead and open Inventor and open an assembly. And once you do that, you'll see some new, make sure you're in the Assemble tab, you'll see some new menu up here, uh, menu options for OpenBOM. Since this is our first time in, there's a few things that we'll need to do to configure OpenBOM. The first of which is we will need to create an account. So use this option here to create a new account in OpenBOM. You'll be taken to the sign up page where you can provide your credentials. And this will be the email address that you wish to use for your OpenBOM account. I'm going to choose Inventor as my CAD system and then provide a smart password. And agree. Okay, so I've just created a new account in OpenBOM. And I'm taken to the new uh, a user's dashboard. This is where your builds material will, will be once we start creating them. Okay, let's return to, we've installed uh, the add-in. We've created an account in OpenBOM. Let's return to Inventor. Close the settings uh, dialog if it's open and open it again and now sign in with your new credentials. Okay, and once you do that, you may receive a message which says that the OpenBOM CAD integrations require a professional user subscription level or above. So you have a couple of options here. You can jump over to the pricing page and purchase a, a uh, professional level or above subscription, or you can click on get trial and, and receive an instant trial license that you can try for a few days to get started. So go ahead and choose you know, whichever option suits you best. And then when you return to, when you return to the settings page, go ahead and sign it. And once you've either chosen the trial or purchased the license, you'll be able to uh, provide your credentials and click OK. So for our first bill of material, we're going to choose multi-level. And before we continue, before we create that first bomb, we're going to visit the bill of material settings within Inventor. There's a couple of things that we want to do here that are um, extremely important to creating that first bill of material. And the first is to make sure that I have the bomb view enabled. Often this is set by default to, be, to disable so enable that bomb view. And then second, take a look at those properties that are across the top and make sure that those are the properties you'd like to include in your bill of material. If they're not, or if you'd like to add more, there is an option up here to choose columns and you can choose through a variety of different uh, column or properties that are available. There's another video on this that goes into much more detail about how to configure this. But So be sure that, both, that that's set up correctly. Click done. and then return to your open bomb menu and simply click on create update bill of material. So we are creating a multi-level structured bill of material from Inventor in open bomb right now. There we go. You may need to you may need to sign in again on your first time the browser caches the credentials. And here we have it. Here we have a multi-level a bill of material of our of our stapler with the properties that came in from our bomb settings inside Inventor and the structure that came in as well from our from our structure design in Inventor. So, um, what have we done? We visited the Autodesk App Store page and we downloaded and installed the integration. We then opened Inventor 
visited the Open Bomb Settings dialog where we provided our credentials. We created an account first and then provided our credentials. We chose either a trial or a purchase license, whichever works best for us. We set our bill of material to multi-level. We visited the Inventor bill of materials options, which you probably only need to do one time, but this is our first time in, so we went ahead and did that. We put a right mouse on here and made sure that we had enabled bomb view. And then we also were sure we were happy with the properties that were shown here. And then finally, we clicked on the create update bill of material button in the open bomb menu and we built our multi-level bill of material for our stapler. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, there's more information on our, on our help page and we always like to hear from you at support at openbomb.com. Thank you.